Hi everyone, welcome back to Physics Wala English Medium channel. Friends, in today's class, we are going to talk about CBSE class 12 board exams for physics, right? We are going to discuss what are the most important topics plus what are the deleted topics. The reason that I have that I have come up with this video is that I was observing on YouTube. We have got lots of videos on most important topics. We have got lots of videos on the deleted topics, but nowadays, uh, a week before students are facing one problem they are facing one problem that sir see we have got notes let's say from our from our elder brother cousin or i have taken these notes from one of my friend or i'm studying from a book which is actually of a of, a, of an older edition now the problem is i am actually uh, getting confused is this topic deleted is this topic really important is the derivation important or i i just have to remember the formula so this is the main uh, difficulty faced by many problems. The, many of them has uh, have asked me to actually make a video on this. So this session is going to be really, really important for you. Take out your pen, take out your notebooks, mark these important topic for yourself, mark the deleted topics as well, right? So let's start. I'm going to start with electric charges and fields. This is your first topic. First of all, see, you, you must prepare each and everything. I am explaining the very most important topic. So very most important Coulomb's law is going to be really, really important for you. Right? In Coulomb's law, multiple forces between the charges is extremely important. You have also, you must have also seen quotients like th this. That we have got a square or a rectangle and we have got charges on the vertex of this geometrical shape. And we have to find the net force on any one of the corner at one or at any one of the corner right so this is very very important next is electric field due to a dipole this is also very important torque on a dipole gauss theorem is extremely important right and its application what are what are the application infinite long straight wire infinite plane sheet and uniformly charged thin spherical shell solid sphere is deleted so you don't have to worry about it got it Next, moving on, dosto. Next is electrostatic potential and capacitance. From this, equipotential surfaces is important. Potential energy of system of two point charges is important. And in this chapter also, na, the capacitance portion is actually more important. You must also know it. In capacitance chapter, capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with or without dielectric medium holds more importance than the other topics. Then energy stored in a capacitor. See, now this is where you need to actually understand that this is that topic whose formula needs to be remembered. That means you only need to remember the formula. Don't worry about the derivation. It is half CV square. Move on. Save your time. Got it? Moving on. Next is current electricity. From current electricity, Drift velocity, mobility and their relation with electric current. So this is actually just one topic. That is drift velocity and current, right? Ohm's law, again, from drift velocity till this point, this is, this is almost one topic. So this is very important. Other than that, see, I'm not talking about each and everything because else you will say, sir, everything is marked green. Everything is important. So what was the point of making this video? The point is I'm just marking the very most important topics, right? Combination of cells in series and parallel is important. Kirchhoff law is very important. What is deleted? Meter bridge is deleted. Potentiometer is deleted. Please don't waste your time on these two topics. All right, dosto? Please don't waste your time on these two topics. Other than this, resistance in series and parallel combination is also is deleted but anyway you know it right the thing is where you can save your time is you don't have to look you don't have to go for those uh, tricky uh, circuits please don't waste your time over there right that that's that part has been deleted moving on moving on dosto unit 3 which ha which which is basically magnetism Mag moving charges and magnetism bio savert's law is important and in this the application of bio savert's law uh, and uh, finding out the magnetic field due to a circular loop is actually important, right? Ampere's law is important. Achha, very important thing, solenoid, magnetic field. What, what is the magnetic field due to solenoid, dosto? Magnetic field due to solenoid is actually mu naught ni, where small n is the 
नंबर ऑफ टर्न पर यूनिट लेंथ दैट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ टर्न डिवाइडेड बाई दी टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द सोलोनाइट यू जस्ट नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मुला डेरिवेशन इज ऑमिटेड राइट सो दैट मीन्स इवन आई मीन एनी वे वी यूज टू डिराइव इट यूजिंग एम्पियर्स लॉ वी नेवर यूज इंटीग्रेशन फॉर दिस राइट देर इज एन डेरिवेशन बट वी डोंट यूज इट इन बोर्ड्स इवन दी एम्पियर्स लॉ डेरिवेशन इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी आस्ट मूविंग ऑन दोस्तों नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज फोर्स बिटवीन टू पैरल करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर्स एंड दिस सी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज फ्रॉम दिस यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दी फॉर्मुला how you got to that formula is also important and one ampere definition is related with it and please remember things like if they have if, if the direction of the current are same they attract right many i mean most of the times we have we have uh, read same things repel but here same things attract same direction of current will attract opposite direction will repel so make a note of it galvanometer is important its conversion is also important you can get some numerical from here moving on in magnetism by the way cyclotron has been deleted from magnetism from magnetism and matter earth's magnetism the whole topic has been deleted so you don't have to worry about don't waste your time hysteresis loop has been deleted right other than that the magnetic field due to a bar magnet that is magnetic dipole its derivation has also been deleted right and another thing is my students know this thing that magnetic field due to a sol due to a uh, bar magnet is quite similar to what we have seen in electric dipole is that clear is that clear so when you are going to learn everything in electrostatics na save your time in magnetism everything is similar there we used to talk about k as constant 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not here we are going to use mu not upon 4 pi as constant so save your time so wherever i have wherever it is written qualitative treatment only you only have to remember the formula that's it moving on dosto magnetic properties of materials is very important that means paramagnetic diamagnetic ferromagnetic substances with their example this is extremely important for your mcqs for normal questions as well moving on from electromagnetic induction faraday's laws and lenz's law holds the most important Uh, what we can say, the, these two things are the most important. Self and mutual induction induction is definitely important, but still, out of all of these, if I have to choose two, I am going to choose these two. From alternating current, LC oscillation has been omitted, right? Other than that, LCR series circuit is very important. Transformer is important. Resonance is important. In LCR series circuit, you don't have to worry about finding the derivation, finding the KVL. You don't have to apply KVL. Just remember the phasor diagram. Just uh, you know how to write. impedance that's it that will that will do from electromagnetic wave again why em wave is a is a transverse wave we only have to worry about its qualitative analysis right so we don't have to derive it this is now very important read the uh, read this chapter study this chapter from your ncert best thing electromagnetic spectrum that means you need to remember all of their names their bandwidth their uses their origin that means sources of these em waves all of these things are very important from optics dosto human eye has been deleted natural phenomena uh, uh, regarding atmospheric refraction has been deleted combination of thin lenses in contact is in your cores and it is important whereas combination com combination of lenses at a certain distances has been deleted tir is important lens maker formula is important microscope and astronomical telescopes is important right from wave optics huygens principle is important proof of laws of reflection and refraction using huygens principle is important and ydac you don't have to worry about the fringe width derivation you just have to remember its formula its formula is very simple lambda capital d by small d that's it right so wherever no derivation life is easy other than that resolving power has been deleted po polarization has been deleted validity of ray optic has been deleted right d fractions only formula is going to be asked moving on dual nature of radiation and matter davison germer experiment is been deleted photoelectric effect will be asked einstein's photoelectric equation and particle over here please first concentrate on the concept 
uh, I mean, if you are going to if you are going to try to remember things, try to mug up things over here, you are not you you will actually face some problem, right? So first understand what Einstein effect says, then move to move for solving these questions. Then matter waves, wave nature of particles, de Broglie relation is very important. From atoms, see from atoms. Alpha particle scattering experiment is important, Bohr model of hydrogen atom is important and the hydrogen line spectra's only formula is going to be asked, right? So no derivation over here as well. From nuclei, entire radioactivity has been deleted. Entire radioactivity has been deleted. So not to worry about this thing. All right. Next. Mass energy relation, mass defect, binding energy per nucleon and its variation with mass number and that graph in which you have got iron at the peak is important. Electronic devices, which means semiconductor out of this C, intrinsic extrinsic semiconductor, please, please understand the theoretical part of it. You, you may be asked to write actually explain how does a PN junction works, right? Other than that, forward reverse bias is important. Do it, do the graph also. And the only application of PN junction that is rectifier extremely important because Zener-Diode has been deleted, transistors has been deleted and so is logic gates. All right, my dear dosto. So hopefully in this short session, I have tried to explain you both what is actually important and what is deleted, right? So both of the things has been explained by me. Please, uh, if you want to have this uh, uh, sheet, let me know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll communicate with all of you on the comment section. Hopefully, your preparations are going in the right direction. If you're facing any problem, if you want me to do anything for you, please write down in the comment section. Okay, all the very best. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.